Hitching a ride in an unmarked car from a stranger has become an all-too-normal way to get around these days. We want to provide safe and reliable transportation um, to all people, wherever they are. But when you're in the business of driving passengers across city limits, where safety requirements differ, it's a challenge. Get Me's Michael Vayner says the varying regulations haven't deterred his company from operating in the roughly 18 Texas cities that have enacted ride-hailing ordinances. But with industry giants like Uber and Lyft having been at odds with a few of those Texas cities, including Galveston and Austin, lawmakers are taking action. This isn't about safety. This is about government interfering in the free market. Safety and transportation are, are state issues. and. Uh, you know, a, a drunk driver, for instance, doesn't stop at a city limit sign. Uber and Lyft pulled out of Austin in May of last year after voters chose to keep the city's mandatory fingerprint-based background checks in place. A similar ordinance in Galveston prompted them to discontinue service there as well. Proponents of such background checks have argued that they are necessary because the third-party background checks used by companies like Uber and Lyft are not thorough enough. Safety is more than just a background check. But Trevor Tennyson of Uber says that in addition to thorough background checks, the company's app offers a number of safety features that allow passengers to see the driver's photo, license plate, and car make and model before their ride arrives. I think two years later, a lot of people know what Uber and Lyft are, what ride sharing is about, and I think a lot of people want the service. It's a debate that will likely be part of a larger discussion about local control. In Galveston, this is Alana Rocha reporting for the Texas Tribune.